pizza go? What? You said I could have some. Some, not all. I put peanut butter on that. You think that's gonna stop me? You got another thing. Oh! Well, why would anyone put peanut butter on pizza? Insurance. <laughs> so when you solve for x, x equals 7y. Because the twos cancel each other out. No, not y. x equals 7y. Because the twos cancel each other out. I'm not asking you why. I'm. You're messing with me, aren't you? You kind of make it easy. <laughs> only one taking this seriously. The whole point of study group is so you guys can figure out the answers and I can copy them. Now focus, people. My homework's not gonna do itself. Okay, DJ, I know she seems insanely selfish, but her constant nagging does keep our study train chugging along. Woo <laughs> woo! Plus, I tell everyone you're colorblind so no one makes fun of your outfits. Allie, I am colorblind. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I didn't realize. You're messing with me, aren't you? <laughs> she makes it easier than you. <laughs> Grab some couch, babe. I'll snack us up. Hey, we're studying in here. Hey, good luck with that. I love studying. Maybe I could help. Hey, algebra, I know this. I took it twice. <laughs> now, I know it could be hard, but if you concentrate, then. Hey, if you connect all the dots, it looks like a bunny. <laughs> Technically, she's not wrong. Come on, guys, let's see if our cookies are ready. Hey, Chelsea, somebody made cookies. And they're not for you. But they look incredible. And things that look incredible should be with other things that look incredible. I know, your cookies, my pizza. I feel you, dog. No? Okay. No worries. We can just study in here. It's not about that. Look, I'm used to having my space invaded. I live in a house where I have to lock my door so nobody draws on my face when I sleep. <laughs> Remember that time they made you look like Chewbacca? <laughs> that was wrong, and they got punished for it. I can live with all of that. I don't like it, but I can live with it. What I can't live with anymore is girls who let Gabe get away with... Being Gabe? Exactly. Why can't he just for once date a girl who will help him raise his game? Now, Tess, give this one a chance. So she's not great at math. Doesn't mean she won't inspire him to... Be less Gabe? Exactly. Watch this. Almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Yay! You're so talented. <laughs> On behalf of incredible-looking girls everywhere, I apologize. Tessie, I know you don't agree with your brother's choices in girls, but it's his choice, and eventually he'll move away, and we won't have to see it anymore. Wake up, Dad. All your problems won't be solved by us moving out of the house. Yes, but so many of them will. Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I used to be a little like Gabe before I met your mother. He just needs to meet the right girl. But what if he doesn't? What if he's Gabe forever? <laughs> Moving out anytime soon, son? Why would I? <laughs> My life is perfect. Who wants cocktail weenies? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Weenie? <laughs> Point made, but uh, we can't pick his girlfriends for him. Maybe you can't, but we can. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. Yeah, dog. Nobody says dog anymore. Okay.
Why do they always give you more whipped cream than me? Look at me. I'm ridiculously cute. Thank you. Enjoy cute town while you can. Sooner or later, we all have to board the awkward bus. And they don't give you extra whip and zit, Phil Buster. No one else on earth talks like you. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. Do you think Gabe will go out with this one? Julia Chow? She's cute, and it says here she's in chess club. You mean Julia Chow with the unibrow? Oh, mama. I thought that was a sweatband. Mm -mm. Next. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to find a girl who will inspire Gabe to be less Gabe. Exactly. She also has to look incredible and have a minimum of two eyebrows. <laughs> Keep wishing on that, straw ladies. Seriously, who talks like you? No one. I'm unique. If I could bottle all this, I'd be a millionaire. If I could bottle all this, I'd be a millionaire. No, you're right. It only works when you do it. Maybe Sam's right. Maybe we are looking for the impossible. Hey, Allie. Hey, Tess. We're gonna have to move study group to tomorrow. My sister was supposed to drop me off, but she got accepted to Harvard, and now I can't get her off the phone. I got into Harvard! I got into Harvard! I got into... I'm sorry, DJ. I gotta make it up to you, but I got into Harvard! I got into Harvard! <laughs> <laughs> That's Maggie? I thought you said she was a dork. She is. Look at her. I got into Harvard, yeah, Harvard, yeah, I got into Harvard, uh, 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 yeah. But she's gorgeous and smart, and I'm pretty sure I counted two eyebrows. <laughs> Study group, tomorrow, my house. Make sure your sister picks you up. I'll bring my lucky tweezers, just in case. <laughs> Sweet CeeLo Green, somebody get the phone! Sweet CeeLo Green, somebody get the phone! Sweet CeeLo Green, somebody Excuse get the me, phone! Excuse me, Chloe. Why is my voice coming out of your rooty tooty fresh and booty? Oh, it's my new ringtone. Your new what tone? Yes, Mom, I am wearing my retainer. See you after school. She is so easy. Yes, you're an orthodontic rebel. What's the deal with the ringtone? What do you mean? It's you. Avi, I downloaded it last night. Your Sam tones are hilarious. Sam tones? An app by Spencer. How did he? Sweet CeeLo Green, somebody get the phone! <laughs> oh, that's number four. <laughs> These are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting in the car. Why won't she come in? I told you my sister was weird. As the adult on duty, I'm not thrilled with you kids tricking this Harvard girl into a setup with Gabe. But as the guy who dreams of turning Gabe's room into a home gym someday, I'm praying it works. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go upstairs to uh, do some stuff. Upstairs. Poop. I'm going to poop. Why am I hiding it? This is my house. I'm pooping. I'm pooping, all right? She's coming! Go, go, go! Gabe, get the door! No! Gabe, you have to get the door! No, I don't! Okay, plan B. Right. What's plan B? No idea, but if I cheer her on, at least I get points for being supportive. Go, Tess! <laughs> Hi, I'm just here to pick up DJ. Dude, I've been sitting in the car texting you for like 10 minutes. Get your stuff, let's go. Oh, what? So soon? I haven't even offered you a drink yet. You must be exhausted from all that texting and sitting. You know, I'm good, thanks. Deej? Uh, okay. The truth is, it's not safe to drive right after texting. You may get a thumb cramp, and you don't want that going over a tight turn. Ah, na, 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 na. Oh, my thumbs! I'm gonna take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the real truth is, I want you to meet my brother because I think you guys would really hit it off. Oh, that's sweet, but um, I don't do setups. I've had a lot of bad ones. 
What's up? <laughs> so, the law of averages suggests that I am due for a good one. Smart. Pretty. I can't wait for you to make my brother a better man. What? Nothing. I'll go get him. <laughs> Don't move. Ow. He'll think later. <laughs> so, what do you think? Mm, I think I just drank a chunk of Spencer's backwash pizza. Mm, pepperoni. Classy. But I was talking about DJ's sister. Mm, not my type. <laughs> He's just being shy. BRB. Eyebrow done. What do you mean, not your type? She's a girl. She's gorgeous. That's your type. True. But she was wearing sandals. And did you see the wear of pinky toe rolled to the side? Creepy. Seriously? You're gonna say no to an amazing girl because she has imperfect pinky toes? Yep. You are so superficial. You can't go through life just judging people by the way they look. Why not? You do. You're not dating DJ because you're not into the way he looks. That's not true. So why aren't you dating DJ? Because we're just friends. Wrong. Face it. If DJ asked you out, you'd say no because you're just as superficial as I am. In fact, you're more superficial. You're super duperficial. That is so not true. Or an actual word. I mean, I, I would totally. DJ doesn't think of me that way. Trust me. DJ is dying to go out with you. That is so not true, and I'll prove it. It's not always this weird around here. Yeah, it is. Stop. Stop it. Hey, Deej, if I asked you out like boyfriend, girlfriend, what would you say? Are you kidding me? See? I'd say yes. Wait, what now? <laughs>Look at that. DJ wanted to go out with Tess. Who was awesome hair and saw that coming? This guy. And again, be right back. <laughs> Wait, this wasn't supposed to be about me. You were supposed to meet Maggie, date her, and become this great guy who doesn't settle for ditzy dingbats. Hey, I like my ditzy dingbats. Ditzy means hot, right? <laughs> Just give Maggie a chance. Why should I? You're not giving DJ a chance. If you want to change someone, why don't you start taking a long, hard look in the mirror? Look, I admit DJ may not be my type on the outside, but he's such a great guy inside that I'm willing to give him a shot, just like you're going to do with Maggie. Unless the tow fairy is downstairs right now, straightening out her freaky feet, I'm going to go with never going to happen. Oh, I get it. You're scared. Scared of a real relationship with a real girl who has something real to offer. There is no way you're getting me to go out with this girl. I'll pay for your date anywhere you want to go, parking included. On free Friday. <sighs> there you are. Looks like someone had fun at the Model UN meeting. Oh, don't get all extra whipped cream cute with me, you traitor. How could you humiliate me like that? <laughs> me? You do know you're wearing a dress, right? I planned on taking it off after the UN meeting, but someone stole my pants. I think it was the ambassador from Turkey. Oh, you make one gobble gobble joke and... Don't change the subject. I'm talking about your stupid Sam tones. They're not stupid. They're cool. You should be thanking me. For what? Turning me into a punchline? I'm pretty sure the dress did that. <laughs> the point is, I bottled your uniqueness. Isn't that what you wanted? No, what I want is for you to erase it. Don't you even want to know how much money we've made? I don't care. My dignity does not have a price tag. <laughs> Are those all zeros? <laughs> nope, nope. Shut it down and shut it down now. Sam, someone here to see you. Oh, oh. Hi, Sam. Chloe. I was on my way to the blend and wondered if you wanted to come with me. Why? 
So you and your friends can play your stupid Sam tones and walk me to my face? They are not stupid. They're awesome and, like, the coolest thing ever. People aren't laughing at me? Shut up your face. You're like a rock star. Really? Totally. Well, I do got the moves like Jagger. Please come to the blend with me. Okay. Who am I to disappoint my fans? Be right back. Whatever you do, do not shut down sand tones. Good. Because I don't think anyone's going to buy my dad tones. Poop! They're going to poop! Poop! They're going to poop! <sighs> so. Yeah! <laughs> well, this is kind of great. Weird. Did you say weird? No. No, I said great. Did you say weird? No, I said great. Huh. I guess we both said great. Weird. <laughs> oh! Sorry. Gotta get to the bottom to get the good stuff. <laughs> Look, I get it. We were friends. Now we're dating. It's gonna be a little awkward at first. Right. This is totally normal for two people who started off as friends and aren't necessarily attracted to each other for the way they look. Wait. You don't like the way I look? No. No, I do. It's just that I'm attracted to the whole you. Outside and inside. But more importantly, inside. Well, if I'd known that, I would have put a bow tie on my pancreas. <laughs> You're so funny. I love that about you. I mean, I'd much rather date a funny guy than a good-looking one. And you're both. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Allie's calling! <laughs> How's it going? Any sparks? Any butterflies? No, but I may be attracting flies from the butter on my elbow. Had to popcorn dive to avoid a premature handhold. <sighs> you so get me. Tess, you're not superficial. If anyone can make this work, you can. Thanks. I really needed that. Just focus on how cool DJ is on the inside, and not on his runaway nose hairs. <laughs> <laughs> that I could have done without. My bad. <laughs> Look, I'm about to see Liam Hemsworth play Robin Hood. If that doesn't get me in a romantic mood, nothing will. <laughs> Good thinking. As long as you don't imagine DJ in tights, because, you know, he has those chicken legs and those disproportionate thighs and the... Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Perfect timing. You're not feeling it, are you? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm still friends. No, I don't think I can be friends with someone as superficial as you. What? No, DJ, I tried. It's just that... You're messing with me, aren't you? You just make it so easy. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to see how... Look, I know you feel bad about DJ, but stress organizing your room doesn't seem to be solving anything. You got a better idea? You try the kitchen. It won't help with DJ, but you might find the top half of the waffle maker. <laughs> I can't believe Gabe was right about me. I'm just like him. Don't be silly. You're nothing like Gabe. I've never seen you waste an entire afternoon in front of the mirror practicing your sup, sup, sup. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Nice try, Dad. But I couldn't make it work with DJ. Face it, I am just as superficial as Gabe! <sighs> Dude, thanks for making me go out with Maggie. She's amazing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised my lady that I'd read one of her favorite novels. Did you know they turned those Harry Potter movies into books? <sighs> Sweet. Wow. I'm not as superficial as Gabe. 
I'm worse. I'm super duper official. <laughs> Can we just enjoy for a second that you might have finally put Gabe on the path to being... This is where you say less Gabe. I don't wanna. <laughs> All right, truth time. You know what the difference between you and Gabe is? He has a heart, and where mine should be, there's a big gaping black hole. <laughs> no. You gave DJ a real shot, even though you knew you weren't attracted to him, because your heart told you it was the right thing to do. Gabe, on the other hand, only went because you bought him a steak. That kid will do anything for free meat. So, the fact that it didn't work out with DJ doesn't make me a bad person? No. It makes you a person. But nobody can create that magical spark. It either happens or it doesn't. And trust me, one day, it'll happen for you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's celebrate the fact that right now, down at the end of the hall, Gabe is actually reading. Weird. In the movies, he talks British. But when I read it, he sounds like me. Yeah. Wow. You don't say. Uh, baby steps. More like Gaby steps. <laughs> Chloe, honey, babe, I can't. Okay, one more time, and then I got a jet. Oh, for the love of Gaga, get the phone! <laughs> Later, babe. Fans, you've got to give them something. We're doing great with girls, but the guys aren't buying. So what do you think of this? <laughs> that wasn't me. No. I thought you'd say that. So I made this one a little classier. <laughs> I think I smell a hit.